Viewing Attributes and Properties You can view the attributes, properties and quantities of the selected object in the Object Properties tab. Let's focus on the attributes first. Scroll down to the IFC Attributes panel and click on Edit. Here you see we have a limited set of fundamental data associated with our IFC element. This applies to all entities usually, but the type of uh, properties or let's say attributes depend on which entity you have selected. Here we have a global ID, a name, a description, an object type and a tag. A note on the tag. A tag is usually an ID that may link it back to other BIM applications. For example, if the IFC module was produced using Revit or Archicad, it might hold the Revit or Archicad element ID. Ok, so some IFC models may have poor quality data. For example, if the name of a window doesn't match the window code that you may see on a drawing, then this is pretty much some bad quality data. I'm going to select all the doors that are of the same type and then press on edit and here I'm going to name them P3. I'll press on this copy icon so it applies to all my selected objects and then save attributes. OK, that's good. We now have a door that's called P3 and that's what we want to show on our drawings. There are other types of properties associated with this object. If we scroll down and look at the IFC object property sets, we'll see a bunch of property sets associated with our doors. OK, this door has quite some data. Let's look at it. It has an inherited P set, which is this P set door common. It tells us that we have a 2 hour fire rating, 29 decibels acoustic rating. It's an external door, it has a thermal transmittance, it's in a fire exit, and it also has a reference. If I press edit, I can see there's a lot more attributes here in this property set. So we have the property, we have its value, and yeah, that's about it. So these are standard property sets and you could have some uh, custom P sets like this procurement door P set right here. It contains the procurement date and the delivery date. This was set up just as an example for you. You could also have some standard ones that can be applied to doors such as the P set warranty for example. And here you have a bunch of information related to the warranty. OK, let's move to quantities. So quantities are part of our quantity sets. And maybe in the future they'll just be part of property sets. We'll see. Now, in now for the QTO door-based quantities, we have a number of quantities here that have been auto-calculated. And these are also standard quantities. You may want to add different ones based on your needs, but usually these ones are enough for costing. Finding the location of objects. Every object in the built environment has a location in the world. For example, a chair will be located in a space and a wall is typically located in a building story. You've already seen this hierarchy in the outliner panel where every IFC project is broken down into a site, a building, a story, and spaces. Now, if you click on an object in either the viewport panel or the outliner, you can then find its location in the IFC spatial container subpanel in the object properties tab. When you press on the select icon here, it will select everything that's on your ground floor level. Check-in construction types. 